in the previous video we saw how the inductive effect influences the stability of reaction intermediates like a carbocation a carbonyl and a free radical we know how carbocations and free radicals are electron deficient species so the electron donating groups or the plus i groups tend to stabilize them while electron rich species like carbonyls are stabilized when we attach them to electron withdrawing groups that is the minus i groups let's stir up the pot a little and let's see what happens if we mix it all up in this question we are asked to identify the least stable free radical hey what do we know about the free radical well in a free radical there are about 7 electrons around the carbon atom so it is an electron deficient species so the electron donating groups would help it get stabilized but what do we have here we have fluorine chlorine and bromine atoms attached mm, electronegative species electron withdrawing groups that tend to withdraw electron density through sigma bonds and they show minus i effect but who would have the highest minus i effect the ones that's most electronegative because it would have the highest tendency to pull the shared pair of electrons towards itself and hey what is minus i effect it is pulling the electron density through sigma bonds so fluorine will have the maximum minus i effect and if it is pulling electron density from a poor free radical would the free radical be happy i don't think so the free radical needs electron density to be stabilized but you all three of them are pulling electron densities from it so the one that would show the least amount of minus i effect would not destabilize the carbon free radical as much as the others right so since the minus i effect is in this order the most stable free radical would be the third one but 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 we are asked to identify the least stable free radical which would be the first option let's move on to the next question here we need to identify the most stable carbon ion hey let's just recall whatever we know about the carbon ion it's in reaction intermediate which is negatively charged there are eight electrons that are present around the carbon atom so it is electron sufficient and also it has a negative charge so it is an electron rich species so in order to stabilize itself it would want to shed that electron density away but what do we have here we have alkyl groups present around it alkyl groups are essentially electron donating groups if you have a methyl group for example carbon being more electronegative than hydrogen would pull the electron density of the respective bonds towards itself it would be all electron rich now and thus would push electron density in the chain or the ring that it is attached to right so it has a plus i effect what about the second one so the carbon that is attached to the ring has another methyl group attached to it a uh, methyl pushes electron density to this methylene group it also has a tendency to push electron density so overall it would have a stronger minus i effect more electron density would be pushed forward through the sigma bonds can you guess about the third one yes it would have the highest plus i effect but wait a carbon ion already has a lot of electron density and somebody is just pushing more electron density on it would it help stabilize it na nah. so all three would be destabilized but if i have to compare them and find out the most stable out of them i would look at the one that is least destabilized so since the plus i effect of the methyl group would be the least it would destabilize the carbon ion the least and therefore this one would be the most stable out of them all let's move on to the next one arrange the following in the decreasing order of stability we have carbon ions here so why don't you folks try this problem yourself and then we'll do it together 
okay carbon ions are electron rich species in order to get stabilized they would want to shed out electron density so they would want to push out electron density through sigma bonds so they would love to have electron withdrawing groups around them right or the groups that show minus i effect if i look at the first one the no2 group attached does have a minus i effect it does pull electron density towards itself while in the second case we have the alkyl group which would push electron density through sigma bonds so it is an electron donating group it tends to destabilize the carbon ion and what about the third case well o minus has a strong plus i effect so it tends to push electron density to the carbon ion hey but this oh has a minus i effect so why does o minus have a plus i effect it's still o right it's still electronegative well in case of the oh group the electronegative oxygen atom tends to pull electron density through sigma bonds and yes it has a minus i effect but when we talk about o minus that is being attached to the carbon chain this o minus has a lot of electron density on it it has a negative charge so this would want to push electron density away as well and therefore o minus does have a plus i effect if it is attached to a carbon chain or a methyl group i'm not saying the methyl group wouldn't show a plus i effect here yes it would but o minus would also have a plus i effect and since it has a negative charge around it has a negative electron cloud around it it would be able to push more electron density on this side and therefore it has a stronger plus i effect as compared to the methyl group interesting right interesting how oh group has a minus i effect but as soon as you put a negative charge on that oxygen atom it gets all riled up it gets all the electron density on itself and now it wants to push that electron density away through sigma bonds and it becomes a plus i group hence we see no2 group has a minus i effect ch3 has a plus i effect and this o minus have a strong plus i effect we are talking about stability of carbon ions it does not want electron donating groups near it so the most stable carbon ion would be the first one and the least stable would be the third one let's move on to the next question arrange the following in increasing order of stability why don't you try this problem yourself and then we'll do it together hmm carbocation stability carbocations are electron deficient species so if somebody wants to donate electron density to it it would accept them wholeheartedly while if somebody wants to take electron density from it it wouldn't like them so much right if you look at the first case this carbon is attached to three methyl groups which are electron donating groups so they push electron density to this carbon it gets all the electron density and it pushes it forward and this carbocation gets good amount of electron density so this entire group is a, has a plus i effect here the carbon directly attached to this carbocation has a methyl group attached to it yes it donates electron density but would it be as good in donating the electron density as this group no right because it has a lot of electron density to donate correct what about the third case here the carbon that is attached to the methylene group to this part this carbon is actually attached to a more electronegative nitrogen atom nitrogen would want to pull the electron density of this bond towards itself and get a delta negative charge this carbon gets a delta positive charge well it becomes a puller of electron density it would want to pull electron density via sigma bonds and show a minus i effect so which one of the following would be the least stable then the third one right and the most stable would be the first one 